Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel, and today we're going to do a review on the Kubota Z421 Commander Pro 60 inch zero turn mower. Let's check it out. This mower has a nice high back padded seat with armrest on both sides that flip up out of the way and a seat belt. Just underneath the front of the seat, you have your seat adjustment lever. Just move the lever toward the center of the seat, and you can move the seat forward or back. Behind the seat on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, you'll see a lever, pull back on the lever, and you can lift up on your seat. Underneath your seat, you'll see you have a fuel tank that holds 6.8 gallons, and on top of the fuel tank, you have a fuel shutoff valve. Down by the left hand side of the seat, you have an oil expansion tank for your hydros. On top of the cap, it says do not top off. See owner's manual, and down along the side of the tank, you'll see where it says full cold. This is your oil level when the units are cold. As your hydros heat up, oil will expand into this tank, and as they cool back down, the oil will sink back down again. You should never fill above this full cold mark. Also down by the left-hand side of the machine, you have a 12-volt charging outlet, and you have a pocket to put your phone. On the left side, on top of the fender, you have a cup holder and a storage area to put any garden tools. Next to the seat on the right hand side, you have an hour meter that reads the run time of the engine. Now we'll take a look down the left side of the engine, see you have your fuel filter and easy access to get to your battery. Down along the right hand side of the engine, you'll see your oil drain valve. There's a place where you can plug on a hose. The frame has a cutout so you can stick the hose right through the frame into a bucket, drain your oil out easily. Right above that, you have your oil filter and your oil dipstick. To check your oil, turn the dipstick counterclockwise, wipe off the stick, stick it back into the tube, do not tighten it down, pull it back out again, the oil should be between the two lines on the stick. When you're done, turn it clockwise, tighten the dipstick back up again. This unit is powered by the Kawasaki FS730V twin cylinder, 24 horsepower carbureted engine. There is a frame guard that wraps around the back side of the mower, and at the very back you have a trailer hitch. Now we'll take a look underneath the mower with the electric PTO clutch, and we have the two ZT3600 hydros, and underneath the plastic cover there's an oil filter, there's one on each side. If you'd like to move the machine around your garage without starting the engine, you'll need to pull this lever out and lock that into place. That'll release the hydro on the left hand side. Then you'll need to reach down behind the seat on the right hand side, pull and hold that lever out down there, and that'll release the hydro on the right hand side. With the brake off, you'll then be able to move the machine around your garage without starting the engine. The rear tire is a low profile tire, and it's a 24 12 by 14. The front tires are a smooth air filled tire, 13 650 by 6. There's no grease fitting on the front spindles, Kubota uses sealed bearings. But on the front rims, there is a grease fitting, one on each side. Now we'll take a look at the heavy duty construction on the front of the deck and underneath the front of the mower. With the mower deck lowered all the way to the ground, we get a good view of the pulleys and the belt. Now we'll take a look at the heavy duty 60 inch mower deck. We have an anti-scalp wheel up on the left front, one on the right front. And on the very front, we have two anti-scalp rollers. It has three spindles and three blades, and you can remove the spindle cover by pushing it on the side, moving the cover out of the way. It makes it easy to clean the area. There's no grease fittings on this mower deck. This deck is maintenance free, and Kubota uses sealed bearings. Now we'll take a look at the right side of the mower deck. You have your mower flap. You can lift this up out of the way. It is spring loaded. That way you can get on and off your trailer or in and out of the shed. A nice feature on this machine is the foot panel is removable. You can lift this up and get right in at your spindles, your belt, clean your deck. Down by your feet in the front, just underneath the seat, you have a cutout area so you can see how much fuel is in your gas tank. Down by your right foot is your mower lift pedal. Step on the pedal. You can lock the mower all the way up in the transport position. To release it again, just push down on the pedal automatically goes to your mower lift setting. Down by your left foot or in the center of the machine, you have your brake pedal. Just use your left foot, 
step on the brake pedal. You will need to do that to start the machine. You can take your right foot, step on the park brake lock, hold that, release your left foot. Now the park brake is locked. To release the park brake lock, just step back on the brake pedal. Taking a look at the lap bar handles, you have several adjustments, lower adjustment and upper adjustment. And if you move the handle out of the way, if you look down inside the machine, you'll see a dampener. There's three adjustments on the dampener to give you a quick, a quick reaction feel to the handle or a slower reaction feel to the handle. To operate the machine, move the lap bar toward the inside and push it forward or reverse. The farther you press, the faster it will go. To start the machine, you will need to be in the neutral position. On top of the fender on the right hand side, you have your control panel, you have your key switch, stop position, run position, all the way over, it's start, it's spring loaded, it will come back to the run position. Just in front of that, you have your mower deck height control, and you can adjust the mower deck height by stepping down on the mower lift pedal all the way and holding it there. Then you can turn the knob from one and a half inches all the way up to five inches in quarter inch increments. To set your mower deck height, just release the pedal and it will automatically go down to the setting. In front of your mower deck height control, you have your choke. Just pull that all the way up to start your engine. Push down, turn it off. You have your throttle control. All the way up is fast, all the way back is slow. That'll control the speed of the engine. Just behind that, you have your PTO switch. Pulling that up turns on the mower deck. Push it off to turn off the mower deck. Just behind the PTO switch, you have the fill for your gas tank. To start the engine, just make sure your levers are all the way out in the neutral position. Step all the way down on the brake pedal. Pull the choke all the way up. Put your throttle halfway. The engine might kick over at that time. You're going to turn your choke off. Push your choke off. Turn the key switch, turn it off. To turn on the mower deck, you'll just need to pull up on the PTO switch with the engine running. And the mower deck will run with the lap bars in the neutral position, forward, or reverse. You'll just need to be sitting on the seat. When you get off the seat, the mower deck will shut off. The Z421 has a foldable ROPS on it. You fold that down just by removing the pins. You'll be able to fold the ROPS down and pin it in order to get underneath some low hanging trees. Once you have your roll bar in position, you have a black knob on each side. You can just turn that in, tighten that up against the roll bar, and that'll keep it from making any rattling noises while you're mowing. Now we'll start the machine by pressing down on the brake pedal, making sure our arms are out, pulling the choke on, turning the machine over, pushing the choke back in, half throttle. The machine will start right up and then release your brake pedal. If you'd like to move forward, move both levers forward or reverse. If you want to go to the left, push on the right bar and pull on the left bar. If you want to go to the right, pull on the right bar and push on the left bar. And you can make perfect zero turns. Turn on the mower deck, put your throttle up, pull the PTO switch out. step on the brake to stop the machine from moving but if you step on the brake with the handles in it will shut off the mower so that's my review of the Kubota Z421 Commander Pro 60 inch zero turn mower please subscribe to my channel if you have any comments please leave them in the comments section below I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel and we'll see you on the next one